Hey, I'm Jason Helmick, a PM on the PowerShell team. And in my first video on this series of Crescendo, I showed you why Crescendo exists and what the purpose to Crescendo was. In this video, I wanna show you the details of how to get your environment prepared so that you can start creating your own Crescendo amplified commands. What we're gonna do in this video, real important stuff. We'll start out with the documentation, where to find it, what it contains um, that we've been working on. Also, I wanna show you some blogs both the team blogs that we've released that has additional information in it and some community blogs that are really helpful. And last but not least, actually getting your environment set up for Crescendo. I wanna show you a little bit about the process and how to get your environment set up. It's gonna be pretty easy and straightforward. So let's have some fun. To get the documentation for Crescendo, just open up your favorite browser, go to your favorite search engine. And what I like to do is just type in PowerShell docs and click on the link for PowerShell documentation. This one or this one will work. And it'll take you out to the PowerShell documentation. Great place to be, by the way, if you need some additional support. Now, you can go up to this search bar and type Crescendo here, but take a look across this particular menu bar. I want you to notice utility modules. Utility modules are modules that we create for PowerShell that we put on the PS gallery. They aren't built into the engine, but they're for PowerShell. And so what you can do is you can see, if you go to utility modules, uh, some of our utility modules here, and one of them is Crescendo. Before I drill into this, take a look at reference. Here's the official uh, name of the module for Crescendo, uh, microsoft.powershell.crescendo. When you drill in here, what you get is the help files for the commandlets and the about. So once you have this module installed, and I'm going to show you how to do that, you'll have, you can use get help because you'll have this locally on your system. But you can also come here and take a look at the commandlets and the help files for them. Now, from the reference content, I'm going to go back to Crescendo. This is our conceptual content. We do have a brief overview for it. You got a better one, I think, in that first video. And then you've got the getting started topics. And this is where I'm going to bring these topics up to you as we hit them throughout this video series. Like, we will very quickly get to installing Crescendo as an example. You will also notice that besides right now what you see, we're working on additional documentation. So from the time of this shooting, you'll probably notice some more documentation added out here. Also, we have advanced topics, things that we're talking about, things that we're working with that can help out advanced users with Crescendo. Now, this is our official documentation. Like I said, we'll be using it throughout this video series, but there's a couple of other things I want to add to this. Let me get another search bar up and let me type PowerShell team blog. This is our team blog site. So let me go out here. This is where we like to make announcements about products that we're working on, our roadmaps, and the latest and greatest on previews. So I encourage you to check it out to find out, well, what's the latest and greatest that we're working on. Now, you could go up to this search bar here and type Crescendo, and something magical is going to happen. Well, not that magical. It's just going to search and find all the Crescendo articles for you. Now, if you go down through this list, this is actually a nice timeline. And the reason that I bring this up is these are the announcements that we made during the previews. And so if you're checking the documentation, you're like, hey, you know what? I have a couple of additional questions. You might find some additional answers in here, such as I'll go to preview one. This is where we made uh, the announcements for the, those features that we added to Crescendo, and we have explanations for them. So this might be some additional information and documentation for you worth checking out. Besides our official team blog site, something else worth checking out is the PowerShell community blog site. And I'll go ahead and click on it so that we can go into it. Now at the, the PowerShell community blog site, this is a great place where members of the community create blogs and talking about all things PowerShell, how to work with PowerShell, how to, how to use different functions and features, and even how to make it better. Um, up here at the search bar, if you type Crescendo, I think I'm close to spelling it. There's an interesting article series that was created by a friend of mine, Sean Wheeler. Now what Sean did is this, is while we were developing Crescendo, he sat down to play with it. And this is the journey of his experience with Crescendo. And he teaches you how to use Crescendo from his perspective. And I think this is a great perspective. So if you go down here and you kind of take a look at the dates, so you get them in the right order, you can go with his Crescendo journey. He'll take a look at the configuration files, how to build an output handler, 
all of the great stuff that you'll see in documentation, but a little bit more here. And I think he's using VSS Admin as his console tool that he's working with. So another great reference for documentation. Great, now that we have all the documentation that we need to get started, let's dive in and starting with a quick graphic that describes the overall process. Now, I'm not sure where this graphic's gonna land. It's probably gonna land on top of my face, but at any rate, this is the general process that you'll go through in order to get a crescendo amplified commandlet. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna start with by installing and importing the microsoft.powershell.crescendo module. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a quick second. The next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to select a console tool that you're going to want to wrap. Now, this console tool in the example that I've given here, you need to know its full name and the location where that console tool is going to be located because you're going to need this information to author that JSON file. And this is the configuration file that Crescendo is going to use so that it can auto-generate the code for you. Now, as the author, what you're doing in that gray box, you can do on your machine and install the Crescendo module on your machine and then export the module from the configuration. Once you've exported it and basically you move over to the blue box, what you have now is a PowerShell module of your auto-generated Crescendo Amplified commandlet. That's a lot to say. Now, we actually give you two things. We give you a module manifest, a PSD one, and the module itself with the auto-generated code. Now, this is just like any other module that you'd expect to use in PowerShell. So you could upload this to the PowerShell gallery to share it with people. You could share it with teams around your company. Whatever works best for you, the module's ready to go. Now, one important note here, is that when you give another machine that module in order to run your crescendo wrapped uh, console command, that machine also needs to have the console command. In other words, this module is wrapping a command that it expects to exist on the target system. You do not need to have the crescendo module installed on any other system than the one you want to author on. But the console tool, definitely needs to be installed on the target system. So now, tell you what, let's go ahead and dive in, get this module installed, show you around a little bit, and then we can move on by creating our first configuration. So you want to get Crescendo installed. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. First of all, let me just show you that you can go right to the PowerShell gallery. And if you'd like, you can type in Crescendo, I'm gonna strike enter, and there's the Crescendo module. Now you can download the Crescendo module right from here in the gallery, although I have a more PowerShell-y way to do this that I prefer. Um, but you can also, when you go to the gallery, you can see our latest version, what we're up to, and you can download it from here. Now, another way to do this, is we already have in our documentation. So the documentation that I was showing you about Crescendo, there's an article here on installing Crescendo and it shows you a couple of different ways to do this. I'm just gonna demonstrate these for you, but I wanted you to see that you do have the documentation that'll take you through this installation. So let me just kind of pop up and let me do it for you here. I'm gonna do a find module uh, microsoft.powershell.crescendo. Now what find module does is it looks through the repository that the that the PowerShell gallery has, and it'll see if it can find that module out there for you. It certainly has. That's the version that I want. So you could, and I'm not going to do this right now, but you could pipe this to install module, or you could just type, like the documentation says, install module microsoft.powershell.crescendo. That's one way you can do this. This is using what, well, you probably already have, what we call PowerShell Get V2. This is our package management uh, software that's built into PowerShell. However, some of you may be working with a brand new version of uh, PowerShell Get that we've been working on. And if you are, we change the name of the commandlet. So instead of doing find module, you would do find PS resource. And you can just look for Crescendo or you can type in microsoft.powershell.crescendo. When it finds the module that you'd like, you can then type install PS resource and it'll install the module for you. Now, what should you expect after the installation? Now well, it's pretty simple. Let me go ahead and I'm not gonna execute those because I already have it installed. 
So let me just do this. I'm going to do a get module. And I could say list available if I wanted to. Uh, but in this case, I'll just say, hey, uh, well, let's go ahead and do list available. And uh, you'll get to see the whole giant list that's on my current machine. And I'm going to scroll up. Whoa, scrolling way too fast for everybody. Uh, let me scroll up a little slower. You'll see. Dun, da, 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 da. So you can do a get module list available and see if Microsoft.PowerShell.Crescendo got installed. Something else that I like to do with any new module that I get, not just Crescendo, is I like to run git command, whoops, module on Crescendo. What this will do is inspect that module and tell you about the commandlets that the module has. In other words, with this, I know that I have the module installed and I'm ready to get started. Now that you have the Crescendo module installed, that's pretty much it. You now have your authoring slash dev box ready to go to start writing Crescendo configurations. So in the next video, what we're going to do is that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to continue with this documentation and get started writing our first configuration and exporting it out to a module with Microsoft PowerShell Crescendo. And hey, if you get a chance, help someone else.